You probably all know by now that I'm a ski bum from way back, every year. I love tearing up the mountain life and do it all again 12 months later. But I've never been down here in the summertime up until now. I mean, what's there to do? Well, apparently plenty. We're in the Snowy Mountains. Mount Kosciuszko National Park, to be precise. Sitting right on top of Australia, about three hours from Canberra. In winter, this place is crawling with snowboarders, skiers and some pretty serious party heads. But you know, winter's over now. The snow will melt soon. And this is what you've got to look forward to. What's buried under the white stuff. And we're off, checking out the Australian Alps. Summer style, all the way to the top, 2,228 metres. But this isn't your average Aussie bushwalk. No way. This is five star. Gourmet food, fine wine, and a comfy bed all ready and waiting for you at the end of the day. All I've got to do is carry my day pack. So what's this five star walking all about? Tom, it's all about us taking the hassle out of it for you. We do all the packing, make sure everything's safe. We've got all, all of our four season equipment and we just let you enjoy all the good stuff. Doug Chutton's a dead set legend up this way. He's walked and skied everywhere up here for the last 13 years. They call me just a city boy, but the sky fully looks so much bigger out here. It's a pretty awesome place to work. Yeah. How's this one for you? In most of the world's alpine areas, there's an average of about 14 species of plants. Up here, you have about 220, which probably makes Kosciuszko the richest and most colourful summer ski field in the whole world. Now, if camping used to mean waking up with a bad back and cold tea in a tin cup, then think again. Here, you get a choice of comfort or adventure. Of course, I've gone for comfort, and that includes all the trimmings. And this is what you get for your money. Base camp, five star style. How's the main tent? That's where everyone hangs out and eats their dinner and has drinks. My tent is a little over there with the bed all made up and ready to go and I'm gonna hit that hard tonight. Stu the chef, well he got here ages ago so dinner is minutes away. It's really tough this camping life. Cheers. And you know, when nature calls, well, it's not exactly Royal Dalton, but with a view like this, who cares? They even go overboard for brekkie, pancakes and plunger coffee. Pretty much everything you need to climb to the top of Australia. Mm -hmm. These will get us up the hill. That's where we're heading. You are up, going up there, Tom. First of all, we've just got to negotiate the snowy river crossing. Almost at the summit, not far to go. Right, let's push it up. OK. Rest there. You ready? This is it, Tom, the rooftop of Australia. Serious mountaineers know all about the seven summits of the world. We're talking Everest in Asia, Kilimanjaro in Africa, and our very own Australian version, Kosciuszko. While the others might take months of planning and training and pack loads of gear, here you can practically stroll to the top and just check out this view.